Travis Scott just released his album Utopia. Truly beautiful album, real art, and you won't find ordinary fast food music here. On this album, Travis, with the help of super producers like Mike Dean, Kanye West, Pharrell Williams, proved that he is a genuinely an independent original artist and producer. He made some tracks himself working on MPC, and what's cool about this album that you can't name the exact genre of it. It's not classic hip hop or trap as we know it. And some people say that it's clone of Kanye West album Jesus and you can definitely hear Kanye West's influence on the album. For example, the song Circus Maximus by Travis Scott. Share some similarities with the song Black Skin Hat from Yeezus. It's not a secret though. Look what Trav says on one of the tracks on Utopia. Let's be honest, it's Kanye West who brought this sound to life on his previous albums, so we didn't hear anything new, game changing or unexpected on Utopia. Nevertheless, it's an incredible album and I call it Donda by Travis Scott. I know we all had high expectation from the album, but I think it's worth it. But what do you think? Is it good enough for 5 years of waiting? Let me know in the comments. By the way, to celebrate Utopia, I put together a bundle of 70 samples inspired by Travis Scott, Mike Dean, uh, and it's only $35. If you're interested, the link is in the description. But today, we're gonna immerse ourselves in the world of Utopia, and we'll try to create something unusual. So, let's get started. I've noticed that most of the beats on album are quite simple. So, I think it can be explained by Travis working on the MPC 2000 XL. It's an old model, legendary model, but it has limited memory, both in RAM and buffer. So, when you work on the MPC, you will always have to find compromises, which in turn develop your creativity. So, I'm not gonna make something super, super complicated, just something original in Travis style is if I produced for Utopia. I'm gonna start with the bass and this bass one shot is from my upcoming Villian multi kit. I feel like it doesn't have enough low end so I'm gonna layer it with 3x oscillator. Okay, I think we're going for kind of hyena vibe from Utopia, so we need a drum break. This drum break is from my Break It Up bundle, and it's literally the most slept on bundle because it has like uh, more than 200 original live played and sampled uh, drum breaks is sampled from actual rare vinyl records. So we, we spent like years crate digging. We went crate digging for this. Do you know what is crate digging? So yeah, definitely check the pack. Drum breaks are insane. Just, just take a look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the idea. Let's move on and we need accents. I was going through our Turia V collection and I found this kind of sampled bass. It brings kind of a old school vibe to the beat. Crazy. Oh, we need more accents. This accent is also from my upcoming Villa Multi Kit and it sounds like this. Need more accents, let's go. All of the accents I'm using in this beat uh, are from my upcoming Villian multi -keys. This one is my favorite actually. I like, I like, it's simple, it's just white noise. And I'm put it on almost every beat I make these days. I love it. We need more accents, let's go.
Let's listen how all the accents sound together in this beat. It's kind of hard. Well, I guess we're done with the beat. We only need to add like a bridge part and I guess I'm gonna just take out the drums and put some acapella on it. That's crazy, that's crazy. I think I'm gonna just add a couple more synths for the outro and we are done. I'm just gonna copy this one right here. And right after that, we're gonna have some more scenes coming. To make the lead sound more realistic, because obviously Mike Dean playing his synths, like uh, hardware synths, not, not in a DAW, you need to use your pitch wheel. And if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can go to this control panel and go to channel pitch. And you see, there is a little automation I made. So I'm, I'm gonna play it separately. You can barely recognize it, but it gives the instrument more uh, tension, more life to it, you know. I guess I know how this beat was made. I guess Travis just found the sample, uh, put it on MPC, added the drum break over it, and the beat is done pretty much. It's just the sample, the drum break sample as well. And then uh, on the post-production, when the song was already made, Mike Dean added his magic. So for the outro, he just uh, added a couple synths. So that's, that's how I think the, the, the beat Hyena was made. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me a lot. And now I'm gonna play you the final beat.